that barring a mathematical miracle, they will play in the top division for the 13th consecutive season. The fairy tale appears to be continuing. Today they're without Dean Blackwell, Robbie Earl, Neil Ardley and Kenny Cunningham all injured and Afan Okoku is not fit enough to start. Well, Joe Kinnear has made light of such adversity in a year when he's also sold the likes of Leonardson, Holdsworth and Vinnie Jones, but you could forgive him for mixed feelings today. Spurs are the club where Joe made his name as a player. Right, Klinsman to the left of Ferdinand here. And it's Fox's cross. Clearance is not decisive. And Junilar has won it back for Spurs. And he tumbles on the edge. It's a free kick. Michael Hughes made the challenge. It was just on the right side of the line from Wimbledon's point of view, I think. Hughes, number 16 here, has got his arm across Ginolar, pulls him back, but it's certainly outside the area. Why? Oh, has evaded all of them. It's come out to Fox. He whipped that in, Ginolar. Wimbledon for the moment are finding it hard to get out of their own third. Back in by Nielsen. Oh, Anderton's running on here. And Ginolar takes on Thatcher here. He's rounded near post for possibly for Ferdinand, but goal kick. Tee up as well. Here's Nicola Berti, but he scooped that rather too quickly because had he just had a split second more thought Ferdinand was just to his left no real pattern to the game as yet but uh, Klinsman oh, well he's taken a bit of a handoff there as Jurgen Klinsman Klinsman Ginola Oh, it's opened up a little bit for him. There! He's hit the post. Oh, you could see it coming. They stood off him by a yard. It was enough. Anderton. Klinsman. Ferdinand. Yes! Spurs in front. Oh, look at these celebrations. Ferdinand is the scorer. But Ginola's shot that hit the post was the start of the sequence. What a priceless goal that might be for Christian Gross and Tottenham. Ferdinand, who scored last week against Newcastle, is there again. Anderton chips it in. Jürgen Klinsmann here with an important touch across the goal. And Ferdinand gets there before Sullivan. 18 minutes gone. And uh, Lieburn and Ewell standing just outside the six-yard box here. Lee Burns in their crowd there, but Peter Fear! Oh, yes! That's a great strike by Peter Fear. Wimbledon a level. Well, just when Walker seemed to have done his bit in that crowd of players from the free kick, the ball came out and Fear struck that sweetly. He's well outside the penalty area. It flies through that crowd of players and nestles in the corner. 21 minutes gone here. It was over seven hours of football since uh, Wimbledon's last goal in the Premiership. Here's Lieburn in the middle, waiting for Yule's cross, and Campbell gets it there first. And at the moment, Spurs are under some examination. McAllister! Oh, good save! Well, no wonder he's holding his head, Brian McAllister. He's never scored for Wimbledon, but he won't have come much closer than this. It's a firm header as he beats Bertie in the air, but Walker gets the left hand up to tip it over. And Walker, again, challenged strongly by both 
Lieburn and Yule. Well, that's dangerous. Lieburn's there. Fears there. He scored again. Well, extraordinary stuff here from Peter Fear. Brought to the team today because of the injury to Neil Ardley. And he's produced two goals from midfield at a time when the Wimbledon strikers have not been scoring at all. A serious-looking Tottenham coach now. They're 2-1 down. Klinsman to the right, Ferdinand here to the left. And here comes Darren Anderson! Skimming past the post. Anderson so keen to make an impression late in the season with uh, Tottenham's survival priority, but World Cup hopes lingering there as well. That was no mean effort. It somehow found a way in. It's 2-2. And on the near post, Wimbledon got themselves into a tangle. And Spurs, for the moment, are off the hook. Klinsman salutes the fans, calls for more encouragement. But what on earth happened there to those two defenders? David Ginola throws off Thatcher, gets the cross in, and Klinsman stretches out a foot. And that is the classic near-post finish, really. And Klinsman continues, even though there are those who don't think his second spell at Tottenham has been as good as his first. They better... Ferdinand deflects on the shot corner. Close. Spurs ending the half on a high. Well taken. And again, it's a one and one with Thatcher. And again, he turns him. Goes down. Referee right behind the incident gives the free kick. Then Thatcher, who normally plays left back, is having quite a hazardous time against Ginola. But then who wouldn't? When the Tottenham man is in such mercurial form, he will now take the free kick for which Sol Campbell is forward. Calderwood's up, Klinsman! Just sneaked in behind Calderwood, Jürgen Klinsman to get the touch. Sullivan got down well. Klinsman again, Campbell's there. And it's scrambled away by Marcus Gale for Wimbledon. Free kick to Spurs, Nielsen foul. It's Ferdinand with a prodigious leap, and Campbell! Well, it was Campbell's shot, but Ferdinand really hung in the air there. Teases Thatcher. And Ginola goes down. Oh, that's two heavy tackles and two Tottenham players laid out there. And there's going to be a scuffle here now. Ben Thatcher in the middle of that. And Spurs are very cross about both the challenges. There's pushing and shoving between the players. But two Tottenham men are down. And how does the referee deal? Oh, it's a red card! It's a red card! Thatcher... Ben Thatcher is sent off. And Wimbledon are down to ten men. Well, the first tackle that went in was by Peter Fear on David Ginola. That was a bit high there. He caught Ginola as he came onto him. Now, look at Thatcher. He runs on from that incident and goes clean through on Alan Nielsen. And for that offence alone, dangerous play. Thatcher gets the red card. This is Nielsen. Oh, it's come off Berger to Klinsman. Real chance for Spurs. 3-2. And who else could it be but Jürgen Klinsman? The love affair between Klinsman and Tottenham was said by some to be over, but not at this moment. No way. He's put Spurs back in front. His second goal of the game, his third on this ground in the last few weeks. And how crucial could this one be? McAllister's clearance hit Bertie. Klinsman latched onto it. Tackle coming in from behind, but the finish is assured. The precision really here of a top-class international striker. After 55 minutes, it's Wimbledon 2, Spurs 3.
two for Klinsmann. It's Klinsmann! Yes, another one! It's his hat trick! Oh, you wouldn't believe it, would you? But you would have Klinsmann. Certainly the man for the occasion where Spurs are concerned in his first spell and now in his second also. It's 4-2 and Jurgen Klinsmann has three of them. And he may well have secured Tottenham's Premiership future. What a kick from Ian Walker. He drives those right to the heart of the opposing defence. And when that happens and you've got Klinsmann and Ferdinand chasing, you've got a chance. Ferdinand headed the ball on as the defender fell. Look at that little turn by Klinsmann. Oh, it's a brilliant finish. There is no other word. These two relishing playing together now. Klinsmann turns McAllister here with the body and fires it low past Sullivan. Tottenham are staying up is the chart. And it's two against two here. And Ferdinand and Klinsmann are now carving great holes in the Wimbledon defence. This is Ferdinand again, and it's Klinsmann again. And Klinsmann, yes! It's getting more and more into the realms of fantasy. Jurgen Klinsmann now with four goals, Spurs with five, and it's a landslide. Ferdinand and Klinsmann are ripping Wimbledon to pieces. Three in five minutes. Jurgen Klinsmann, a hat-trick in five minutes. And look at that again. Perfectly driven finish. Joe Kinnear, animated to say the least, and not happy. Fear had a great match, Peter Fear, and he might well have had a penalty. Saul Campbell was the player who he ran past and over, but nothing given. Here's Klinsman again, and Spurs have got one over. It's Darren Anderton. Armstrong is far post. Klinsmann! Oh, he's put it over the bar. He won't believe it. Oh, he's put those away time after time. Klinsmann flicks it back beautifully. This is Saeed. Real chance for number six. Yes! This time, Klinsmann is the provider. And Saeed, the Algerian international scores his first goal for Tottenham since arriving from Valencia. Built up here between Anders, look at that flick from Jurgen Klinsmann. Absolutely choice. And he could pick his spot as well, Saeed, to make it 6-2 to Spurs. Wonderful touch from Klinsmann. And a lovely finish from Saeed. Spurs surely ensure their Premiership place. Jürgen Klinsmann's official farewell is next Saturday or Sunday, but today was his real farewell. He's got the ball, and why not? Four goals in the space of 19 minutes of playing time, a hat-trick in five minutes in the second half, and a fabulous end to the second part of his Tottenham career. It ensures for Spurs three points, a healthy boost to the goal difference, and from 2-1 down, they finished up winning 6-2. Saeed got the last one. Wimbledon can only be slightly embarrassed. They couldn't afford to lose quite that by that many again next week. But this was all about Clinton.